Now let's use tops to generate and display work items. So we start by going to the geometry level where we're going to just name the this network as street grid and we're going to use the tab key and put down a top network uh, here in the network editor. We're now going to split the pane left and right and we're going to do this for a particular reason so we can focus on two different networks at the same time. So we're going to dive into the top net here and you notice that there's a pin icon on the top of that so uh, we can and we're going to pin this one as well so the, these two won't navigate up and down as we as we work with the scene we can just choose which one we want to work with by clicking on that path. So in the top network we're going to add a geometry import node. There's already a local scheduler uh, which is we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, we're going to use a SOP node as a geometry import and we're going to go get the city block out from before. And we're going to uh, grab primitives and once we have that, let's name that city blocks. And we're going to press play here. Now once we do that, uh, we get all these little tasks. So each block within the city became a separate task and um, each one of them got generated as an individual file. So if you middle click on here you can start to get a sense for that. You can click on different ones, tell you what the point count is, uh, tell you what the index is and that's information that can be used later on. We can also view one of the work items. So here's an example of one of the city blocks sort of working sitting on its own. Uh, we can also view this, um, oh, we have the um, local scheduler and we're going to do it a little faster because we're going to use more of the cores on this machine. Now we're going to go and set up a visualizer. So we've got the work item viewer. And what this is going to be is just a file node. So if we double click into there, there's a file node. And if we wanted to, we could say, well, go get the um, go to the geometry uh, geo and let's get that file and it's currently numbered so you can sort of see it in relation to time. What we're going to do is add a color node down, we'll color it yellow so we can see what's being visualized here in this 3D view and we'll make that red. So one of the blocks is currently um, there and if we went on the timeline you'd see that all the other ones are there um, currently set up based on time but we don't want to use time as the indicator for this. What we would like to do instead is to have it come from the top network. So we're going to go back to the file node. And we're going to change this to uh, backslash at pdg underscore output and then another backslash. Now currently it's not doing anything. We have to click on one of the work items here in the PDG view and then it will display 